All right, so the next one is, remember the first thing that I said about ERC-77 tokens, that it allows ERC-77 tokens? Now, if you went through the uh, Reandrecy uh, chapter, you know that with ERC-77 tokens, we can control the execution flow because we can add hooks to the receiver and to the sender, to before the token sent, after the tokens are sent, and why is this problematic? Because if we go here to the distribute function, basically the way it works is that we call this external distribute function and then there is the internal one and we get the token, the winners and the percentages and the data is just gonna be emitted in an event. So let's assume this is an ERC-77 tokens and one of the winners is malicious. One of the winners want to screw everyone else and make sure that no one gets the tokens. So what is he gonna do? The winner, the address, it's gonna be a smart contract, okay? <laughs> it's gonna be a smart contract that has a hook for ERC-77 transfer and is just gonna revert the transaction because here, as you can see, we use the safe transfer. So we go through all the winners and eventually we'll get to this malicious winner. We'll try to uh, transfer the tokens to the winner. And then if it's ERC-77 tokens, we will have a callback that will trigger a function in the winner address. Now this winner address can just revert the transaction or just waste all the gas, okay? So one winner can screw all the other winners in case it's ERC-77 tokens. Now, it's not high, it's medium, because the likelihood of using ERC-77 tokens is not very high. This is one. And also, they can overcome it, just, they will see that the transaction is reverted, there is one winner that screws it all, and they can just remove this winner and try to send the transaction again without this malicious winner. So that's why I think it's either medium or low. In case they use cron jobs, it could be a medium because they will waste. I think it's valid, but not sure about its severity because they can call it again without the malicious users. Yeah, yeah, they can call it again without a malicious user. Basically, my recommendation here is uh, simple. I even had a, a, a POC of a malicious contract. So the malicious winner can deploy this contract and just uh, option one, just revert with no prizes for anyone. And option two is just waste all the gas. And the recommendation is to use EAP-167 to ensure that there are no ERC-77 tokens are being used. So you can use EAP-167 to make sure that uh, it's not ERC-77 tokens in the constructor. And the other way to do it is to implement a system where winners uh, can withdraw the rewards. Instead of a push, it will be pull method, okay? So instead of the organizer is like pushing and sending all the rewards. He just decides who are the winners and then the winners can claim the rewards later. It will require a lot of refactoring. So I said it over here that it's not recommended. Just don't allow ERC-77 tokens, that's it.